Okay, so then when President Obama was doing this uh, uh, statement, public statement about what he would do with the, um, uh, uh, what he's going to do with, with this immigration policy, he was heckled by a guy uh, named Neil Monroe from the Daily Caller who actually interrupted the president in the middle of a statement. We can't really hear Neil in this, but you'll see the president get kind of visibly irritated. Later on, Neil Monroe claimed that he thought the president was done speaking. Let's see if we can find any evidence that any reasonable person would think President Obama had finished his statement here. Relief and hope to talented, driven, patriotic young people. It is the, it is the right thing to do. Excuse me, sir. I, I, it's not time for questions, sir. <laughs> I, I, not while I'm speaking. Precisely because this is temporary. Okay, and then he goes on. So was there any, I guess there was a slight pause, but he clearly wasn't looking for questions. It seemed like a very clear pause in his speech. Very weird to claim he thought the president was done. Strange, yeah, who knows. Now then, editor-in-chief Tucker Carlson from The Daily Caller said he likes this. He's proud of this guy for doing this. Would you be proud of him for doing this? It just seems kind of rude. It, it is a little weird. Yeah. If you're going to do the heckling, at least make it funny, like Benji Bronk when Anthony Weiner did his press conference, right? We have some audio of that. This that is cool. the way to properly interrupt a press conference. Message, but I, I, I certainly wouldn't obviously do the things that I have done that that led me that that led me that led me to this place. <laughs> Question one, of course, are you shocked that Arnold Schwarzenegger had sex with such an ugly woman? And then later on in the press conference, asking about. Uh, Anthony Weiner's arousal level when that penis tweet was sent out. They were inappropriate. They were part of a of consensual, you know, exchanges of, of emails. And I don't want to violate the privacy of the, the the women who were involved. But it was clearly a mistake and one that I deeply regret. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Anthony Weiner uh, taking any and all questions. All right. That is the way that you interrupt a press conference in a reasonable way, or even better, this is a new one. This is from over the weekend, talking to uh, Webb Simpson, who won uh, some, uh, is it the US Open? Is it the Masters? I apologize, I don't follow golf. He won some kind of golf tournament, and Bob Costas interviewing him, and in comes a guy who decides to do some bird calls right in front of the camera. This is a much better way to interrupt a press conference than yelling out a question off microphone about immigration. On the weekend, and a burst of three straight birdies and four in a five-hole stretch turned around for you today. Yeah, that was kind of the difference. I got off to a slow start, but I knew that... <laughs> I, I, I knew... Always something to spice matters up. I love that. And for people who are watching, you would think that that's security who came in and grabbed them. I guess it's like the president of the PGA. Now let's just watch that one more time, Lewis. This guy just diving in and grabbing them right out of there. Yeah, that was kind of the difference. I got off to a slow start, but I knew that... <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are the Daily Caller, if you are Tucker Carlson, that's the way to interrupt a press conference, not with a question nobody can hear about immigration. Please, get it together. Just okay. make it funny. 